goes out of the way and racing with this one. 1300 stock cars in their last chance qualifier for the European Championship. So chaos at early doors, Hollings with Kenny taken out in that 7 and that double 8. And 27 also in a lot of bother down here. So he gets himself back into the running. So through we go, 41 more than he leads set the way through. So the green flag goes out on circuit and we are away and racing with four of the two stuff cars in there. Heat number one of the evening. So the field and up and uh, running in this one with Colin Blake leading the way so far in car 5, 4, 3, 7, that 9, that 5 there is Jason Clow in that second place at the moment and third from the lights is so James Fowler in that, that one. So 341 Austin Freestone going next uh, as the rest uh, sort themselves out. So ooh, 349 Michael Allard goes out down here on the home straight. Dramas uh, for him. Allard back uh, underway then as the uh, leaders go through. Tom Yield at the head of the pack now. So, big, big uh, moment down there for 20 at uh, 22. Kane Parnell getting uh, the push there down into the uh, first lap. Oh, the big one has gone there. So, 99 Roth and 23 Lee Pierce heavily uh, held up as well at the start of this one. So, uh, a few uh, major uh, surprises and upsets very quickly there. Kane Parnell then leads them through in car 229 from 18. Now it's Patrick Calderwood. Third now coming through already, uh, making a lot of progress is Jack Smith. 673 deep motor on the outside, trying to get that place back. Carl Hegg has come and stuck underneath the, the uh, scoreboard at the other end. So Hegg looking like a man who's out of the race uh, in this one. And we go to Wave Yellows on the raceway, we go to Wave Yellows uh, on uh, the raceway. So it is uh, caution flags out. Jack Smith in 302 goes through and takes up the running. Roth uh, there goes in on 473 at uh, Dean Moat and the back uh, of the field. Ooh, takes him in big time uh, down there up front then. It is a change for the leader of 673. Uh, John Moat has come through and taken it up. So John Moat now leads it from Jack Smith. Third at uh, the uh, 23 lead Pierce. Oh, it looks a bit. So as the leaders come through, 52 it is. So Steve Taunton who leads it from uh, 37 Fowler. at nine at Warm Dilks, that is uh, as they go uh, early on. 238 Aldous going uh, around the inside of the tyre there, so uh, he's uh, in uh, a bit of trouble. And around goes 52 Toynton as well, so Toynton spun out, it's 5 9 Warm Dilks. From that uh, lead down to fifth in that uh, relatively short order there. Through we go, it's three laps next time for 26. Tommy Barnes in tonight, salute, stop car final. 3-4-9. Allard manages to get through and to the lead. Sandry going in there. Oh, and Allard gets turned around by Tommy Barnes, so Allard goes. It's 26 there as D Mays gets taken out. So, up and down the front. Here we go, 14, Riley leading the way in this from Travel 8 Park, 7 and 11 is Wells. Next is up one at 46, Aylward. And Aylward, 421, Taylor, then set Sonny Wright. In fact, no, Sonny Wright dropping back a long way down the back straight, so uh, it's not a problem that for him. So Riley there with 46, Jack Aylward. Charging through the second, 7 11 Wells, 4 2 1 Taylor as Bloomfield gets taken sideways down there in the corner. Gets pulled all the way up the back straight, eventually gets set spun around. So, driver losing the uh, time in that as well for a second, 1 42 at Jack Lauer. Time then, that for England, 14. 
your race leader. John Riley there from 146 Jack Elwood, 421 Chris Taylor, 711 Clark Wells. That's your early places. Three through now behind Wells at his 303 Jake Bromley. Now putting uh, 129 Tom Lynn White. Jim Brennan gets his place back. Steve McGoin leaving at uh, the raceway in car 674. 